Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, two days ago, the CS4 interior Kithura Kendiki was in Madongeni Primary School, Mwingi constituency in Kitui County to address the issue of insecurity in that area. Kendiki was, uh, was uh, accompanied by security officers in this country in that event. But funny thing is that while the CS was addressing the residents, the bandit decided to shoot in the air as a sign of warning to Kidure Kendiki and uh, to William Samuel Ruto's government. But after that, Kendiki gave an order and it was just a reminder and seemingly this was a move by William Ruto's government to revert back to the situation where William, President Uhuru Kenyatta had already set the pace on how to deal with the issue of criminals in this country. Remember when, Uhuru, when Ruto came in power, he did a lot of damages in the name of correcting the mistake that Uhuru had done in the government by dealing with the Kenyans ruthlessly using the police officers. To some people this looked popular, but again at the end of the day, he was opening room for bandits to attack Kenyans for criminals to take charge of this country. So finally, Kidure is confirming that, and this is what he said, that the officers have been given a firearm, and this firearm has only two duties. Number one, it is to protect Kenyans and their properties, and number two, to protect the police officers when they feel they are in danger. How does it protect a police officer? If it's Buru, kuna watu wanaumia kule baringo, kuna watu wanaumia kila mahali. Lazima tutafautishe wakora na wezi, tutafautishe na mambo ya ukabila na mambo ya jamii ambazo siko hapa. Mimi naomba tu kwa munipatie muda kidogo. Tutanyorosha wakora Kenya hii. Awata amini kile wataona. Juzi, kuna watoto walikuwa nasumbua watu Nairobi wakidunga visu. Wengine wanachukua simu za wengine. Saa hii, wale askari tumeweka pale Nairobi. Ndiyo wengi kuliko raia. Na saa hii hawa watoto wote tumedil na hao. Kwa sababu dawa ya mwizi, ni vile siyaria inasema tuna, tuna deal na yeye. Nataka niongeze, niongee nion, nion, na maofisa wetu ambao wanalinda usalama hapa. Ile bunduki ambao umepewa, iko na sababu mbili peke yake. Iyo bunduki unabeba ni bunduki ya jamuri ya Kenya, ni bunduki ya serikali. Iyo bunduki kazi yake ni kulinda maisha na mali ya mwananchi. Sababu ya pili ya hiyo bunduki ni kujilinda wewe mwenyewe mwizi mukora na mwalifu azikuumize wakati una 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 unalinda mwananchi. Hakuna sababu ingine? Hii sio maua, sio decoration. And by the way, how does a police officer use a firearm to protect himself if he feels is in danger? <laughs> it simply means just shoot to kill or shoot to disable the person who is endangering the officer's life. Two things. Either you are killing or shoot to disable. We are continuing with this panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and they are yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And to all our channel subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back. Again, I'm giving a request to all of you who are watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you and back to our discussion. Now, the issue of insecurity in this country was gaining momentum. And the bandit, even Kidura Kendike, is talking about, they were taking charge of this country. Kenyans had, had been left in a helpless situation. And this is the reason why Kedure Kendiki has no option but to go back to where Uhuru Kenyatta left this country. 
allow the police officers to do their work the way they were trained and how the constitution allows them to do in Article 61. As simple as that. The issue of populist politics to do with our security, it was dangerous and it was damaging this country. This confirms that William Samuel Ruto has no any other option. He has been forced to stop all of the populist position he was taking in this country to go back to where Uhuru Kenyatta had left this country in. The officers were doing their work and dealing with the issue of thuggery even in the city, there was a squad dealing with them, a special branch. And I told you here that it will not take long for William Ruto to form another group to deal with the issue of bandits. It will not take long for William Samuel Ruto to revert back into the system which Uhuru Kenyatta left operating in this country to do with the security. And many other things will follow. Now it is barely three months. The officers that were being intimidated, the officers that were being frustrated are now being told to use force where they feel that they are in danger and then the Kenyan they are protecting are in danger. Shoot to kill. Now they had allowed even these thugs and bandits to rule the, to an extent given they are giving a warning shot to a CS to a government. In their presence when they are speaking, that's how far these bandits had gone. <laughs> So, how do you entertain such people? You cannot. And by the way, to do with the issue of bandits in Kitui and all these other areas, this is what Kenyans are saying to see as if he's not aware that the leader of these bandits might be in the cabinet. There is leaders in the cabinet who are the owners of the, uh, this, this camels, Naizo Mombe. Not long ago, the people of Kitui were complaining about Adel Duale sending his herders in their village to <laughs> graze there. And uh, these herders were going to an extent of beating the village, uh, uh, the owners of the private land, and then uh, forcing their way in their land to feed on their crops, their animals. That's how my children are going to eat their food. My wife, Kama ni mahindi inakula. Kama ni marago alikuwa mpanda inakula. Kama ni nyazi alikuwa mpanda ya mwambeza ya mifugo zao hawa ngamia wanakula. And these are the people who are giving a warning shot to Kithure Kindiki, not another person. So if we have the enemy of the people, then that person is in the cabinet. So they need to sit down with the, these people and ask Adam Luale to remove his camels from Kitui. That has been the complaint. We are talking about two people who are killed by these herders. So there is no need to give them even a warning or a matmatum period of time to flash before flashing them out. Kizura Kindiki should have just proceeded to flash these bandits out without even entertaining them. There are just few Somalis who are taking care of Aden Dwale camels there and then other rich Somalis who will force their way and you can see how can a normal herder have a firearm? Kwa nini mfukwani mfugaji wa kawaida atapata wapi firearm ya kutembea na hawa ngamia wengi hivi kama sio eti wanapewa na watu kama Aden Duale na watu wengine matajiri huko vile wananchi wa wa mingi wamesema pamoja na mbunge wao hawa watu wanakuwa facilitated by the business community within the Somali it's not all Somalis are playing this kind of target thing there are just few people who are rich who are in this game. 
So when I enter not in this thing, if Kintura Kidiki want to deal with these people, he should first add and well head on and tell him the truth. And I said, in as much Dwale is going to be a minister, then stopping the issue of mistreatment of the residents in Kitui, it is going to continue. They will not manage to stop it. Because these people are armed and they will have their way to feed the uh, camels on the crops. You can see how impunity can go to this extent of destroying all the investment of the farmer in Kitui County when they wake up in the morning and you find that all your crops are no more. They are being even forced out of their houses. They are being forced out of their homes. So this is not the time to entertain these people here. Let him deal with the bandit in, in, in a equal measures and stop this kind of mistreatment to the Mwingi people. So, it is coming out clear, William Ruto has no option but to do the right thing by allowing the security officers to do their work and then protect them instead of exposing them. What this government was done, actually, it was exposing the security operatives in this country. To an extent, the security officers were not comfortable to take order. Even as Kidura Kendiki is talking now, these officers are not comfortable to take the order that is given. Because he has to assure them of their security, he has to assure them of their protection. And again, they should not be arraigned in the court. <laughs> because again, once you do that, of course, you are also endangering their family and of course themselves because they are going to be uh, prone to the society. The people will mark them and they can also reiterate or deal with them. So that is the situation in this country. We are seeing a government that was trying to learn on duty rather than embracing what Uhuru had already said moving forward. So it is not time to try a litmus test on our security. It is just time to do the right thing and stop all the shenanigans that has been happening. Many things will be reverted, including even the issue of uh, port operative and other things that Ruto was changing to prove a point to the retired president. All of this was hot air. Now the people, the, the government uh, of William Ruto is meeting with the reality on the ground and that they are going to be forced to do the right thing going forward.